Have you ever heard of the legendary Japanese military commander Minamoto no Yoshitsune? A figure of immense significance, Yoshitsune's influence spanned from the end of the Heian period to the dawn of the Kamakura period. Known for his bravery and genius, he carved his name into the annals of Japanese history, leaving behind a legacy that still resonates today. From epic battles to dramatic invasions, his life was nothing short of extraordinary. Join us as we journey through the life and achievements of this brave and ingenious leader. Let's take a step back in time to the Battle of Yoshima in 1183. In the throes of the Heian period, the stage was set for an epic clash between two formidable Japanese families, the Minamoto and the Taira. The key players for this chapter were brothers Minamoto no Yoshitsune and Minamoto no Yoshinaka. United in their opposition to the Taira family, their combined forces spelled doom for their enemies. The clash was intense, a testament to the sheer will and determination of the warriors. Yet, it was the strategic brilliance of Yoshitsune and Yoshinaka that ultimately led to the Taira's defeat. This victory wasn't just a personal triumph, it marked the rise of the Genji clan, a monumental shift in the Japanese power structure. This battle was more than a mere skirmish between rival families. It was a catalyst, a spark that ignited the Genji clan's ascension to power. This battle marked a significant turning point in Japanese history, setting the stage for the rise of the Genji clan and Yoshitsune's future triumphs. Now imagine the scene of the Battle of Danura in 1185. The sun rises over the Sato Inland Sea, casting long shadows over the battlefield. There, Minamoto no Yoshitsune, a name etched in the annals of Japanese history, and his younger brother, Minamoto no Noriori, are poised to overthrow the Taira clan. This is not just a battle, it's a culmination of a long-standing rivalry, a dance of strategy and bravery. The stakes are high and the tension is palpable. Yet Yoshitsune and Noriori are undeterred. They're focused, their minds as sharp as their blades, their spirits as unyielding as their armor. Their opponent is the formidable Heike general, Masamune Taira, a seasoned warrior, a force to be reckoned with. But Yoshitsune and Noriori are no ordinary opponents. They carry the weight of their clan, the hopes of their people. This is their moment, their stage. The battle ensues, a chaotic symphony of clashing steel and roaring warriors. Amidst the chaos, Yoshitsune's ingenuity shines. He outmaneuvers Masamune, his strategies as fluid and unpredictable as the sea surrounding them. It's a display of brilliance, a testament to Yoshitsune's unparalleled strategic mind. The Taira clan is overthrown, the Minamoto clan victorious. Yoshitsune and Noriori emerge from the battle not just as victors, but as heroes. Their triumph echoes throughout the land their names immortalized. Yoshitsune's bravery and strategic skills during this battle brought him significant recognition and fame. Next, let's delve into the era of the intense persecution of the Genji family. The Heikei, a powerful rival clan, sought to eradicate the Genji, threatening their very existence. But in the midst of such peril, a beacon of hope emerged in the form of Minamoto no Yoshitsune, a young, daring and resourceful Genji warrior. Yoshitsuna was not one to cower in the face of danger, instead he chose to meet it head-on, devising ingenious strategies to outwit and evade the relentless pursuit of the Heike. His resourcefulness knew no bounds. He orchestrated daring escapes and covert operations to rescue his comrades, often risking his own life in the process. His strategies were not just about survival. They were a testament to his unwavering commitment to his clan and his determination to protect his people. He was a master of the art of war, but he was also a compassionate leader who valued the lives of his comrades above his own. He was a beacon of hope in a time of despair, a symbol of resilience in the face of overwhelming odds. His actions during the invasion of the Genji clan not only ensured their survival, but also sowed the seeds of their eventual rise to power. His cunning and bravery during this time further solidified his reputation as a hero. His story continues to inspire, reminding us of the power of courage, ingenuity, and an unyielding spirit. Fast forward to 1185, after the Battle of Danura. The dust of war had barely settled when Minamoto no Yoshitsune, 
made his way to Kamakura, the political heart of Japan during the Kamakura period. This strategic move was not just a change of scenery, it marked a pivotal moment in Japan's history. Here, Yoshitsune found himself face to face with Minamoto no Yoritomo, his elder half-brother and a formidable force in his own right. It was a moment ripe with tension, but instead of battling it out, the brothers chose peace. Yoshitsune pledged his loyalty to Yoritomo, serving him as a vassal. This was not a position of servitude, but one of honor and respect, a testament to Yoshitsune's wisdom and his ability to foresee the bigger picture. Under Yoritomo's rule, Yoshitsuna assumed critical roles in the Kamakura shogunate. He wasn't just a warrior on the battlefield, but a strategist in the court as well. His influence seeped into the corridors of power, impacting the direction of the shogunate. And so Yoshitsune, the brilliant military commander, became Yoshitsune, the respected statesman. He was instrumental in shaping the policies and direction of the Kamakura shogunate. His actions, his decisions, his leadership, they all contributed to the rise and establishment of the Genji clan in this new era. His actions during this time ushered in a new era for the Genji clan. Now let's look at the Jokyu War in 1221. Our tale now takes us to a time when the shadows of conflict once again loomed over the land. The grandson of Minamoto no Yoshitsune, Minamoto no Sanetomo, stood at the heart of this tumultuous period. Sanetomo, bearing the weight of his grandfather's legacy, dared to raise an army against the shogunate. The Jokyu War was a clash of power and ambition, a desperate bid to reclaim the glory that was once the Minamoto clans. Sanetomo, fueled by the tales of his grandfather's bravery and strategic prowess, dared to challenge the status quo. However, as history often reminds us, rising against an established power is a gamble that requires more than just courage and a noble lineage. The war was fierce and the stakes were high. Sanitomo, despite his best efforts, found himself on the losing side. The defeat was a devastating blow to the Minamoto clan, the once mighty clan which had stood at the pinnacle of power under Yoshitsuna, was now on the brink of destruction. The Jokyu War marked a dark period in the clan's history, a time when their influence waned and their power diminished. But even in the face of defeat, the legacy of Yoshitsune continued to echo through the corridors of time. His tale of bravery, strategic genius and unyielding spirit served as a beacon for those who dared to dream and fight for their convictions. Even as the Genji clan faced temporary destruction, the spirit of Yoshitsune lived on, influencing future generations and serving as a testament to their indomitable will. The Jokyu War, while a dark chapter in the history of the Genji clan, underscores the resilience and determination that defined Yoshitsune's lineage. His grandson, Sanetomo, may have been defeated, but his attempt to reclaim the clan's glory was a reflection of Yoshitsune's own audacity and resolve. Even in defeat, the legacy of Yoshitsune continued to influence future generations. His story serves as a timeless reminder that true courage lies not in victory, but in the willingness to stand up and fight, no matter the odds. Finally, let's explore the legend of Minamoto no Yoshitsune. A figure of valor and cunning, Yoshitsune's life and deeds have been immortalized in many forms of Japanese literature and performing arts. The tale of Yoshitsune is a captivating one, filled with the drama of war, the thrill of victory, and the sorrow of a tragic end. One of the most impactful literary works featuring Yoshitsune is the Gikeiki, or Yoshitsune Monogatari. This chronicle of Yoshitsune's life is a rich tapestry of historical fact interwoven with elaborate fiction. It paints a picture of Yoshitsune as a hero of his time, whose actions shaped the course of Japanese history. Yoshitsune's story has also found its way onto the stage. In the world of No, a traditional form of Japanese theatre, Yoshitsune is a recurring character. The play Yoshitsune Senbon Zakura, or Yoshitsune and the Thousand Cherry Trees, is a classic example. Here, Yoshitsune's character is portrayed as a tragic hero a warrior caught in the cruel clutches of fate. Just as in No, Yoshitsune is a popular character in kabuki plays. 
The same Yoshitsune Senbon Zakura is performed in Kabuki style too, with its vibrant costumes, dramatic makeup and intense performances. In these renditions, Yoshitsune's character is larger than life, a symbol of bravery and honor. Beyond literature and theater, Yoshitsune's tale has permeated other aspects of Japanese culture as well. His exploits have inspired paintings, poetry, and even video games. Each of these cultural expressions capture different aspects of Yoshitsune's persona, presenting a multifaceted image of this legendary figure. Yoshitsune's story, therefore, extends far beyond the historical records. It is a story that has been retold and reimagined countless times over the centuries, each time breathing new life into the legend of this remarkable man. In conclusion, Yoshitsune's legacy is a testament to his remarkable life. His story is a blend of historical fact and cultural fiction, a tale of bravery, strategy and tragedy. His life, as portrayed in literature and arts, is a mirror reflecting the values and ideals of the Japanese culture. To this day, Minamoto no Yoshitsune's bravery and wisdom continue to inspire, making him a timeless hero in Japanese history. So there you have it. Minamoto no Yoshitsune, a man of bravery and ingenuity who masterminded strategic victories at Yashima, Danura and Mount Mayogi. His daring invasion of the Genji clan and his peaceful entry into Kamakura mark significant turns in the tale. His legacy, carried forward by his grandson in the Jokyu War and etched forever in the annals of Japanese literature, continues to inspire. From his strategic victories to his enduring legacy, Minamoto no Yoshitsune truly left an indelible mark on Japanese history.